tip. Today we're talking about the tip. Does anybody know where you leave a tip? Where is it customary to leave a tip? At a restaurant on the check. Exactly. That's a number one place. Does anybody know other places that you might overlook, but you do leave a tip or your parents leave a tip? Hair salon, very good. Every time you get your hair cut, you need a tip. Where else? Oh. Yes, that's something new. Five years ago, no one would have ever thought. Um, Uber Eats, DoorDash, all those people that deliver food to you, you need a tip. It used to just be like Domino's, Pizza Hut, those people, but oh. now it's like everyone delivers food now, right? It's so convenient. When I was a kid, there was no such thing as that. We had a walk ourselves to Starbucks. Walk, walk, you know. And Wingstop, we had to walk ourselves. There was no one delivering this food. You guys, you guys, you don't suffer at all. Huh? When I was your age. Okay. We used to walk uphill both ways in the snow. It used to snow in Santa Ana. Anyways, what? where what? else do you leave a tip? Um, so delivery, restaurants, hair sta- uh, salon. Huh? Not the grocery store. Yes. Car wash. The guy at the car wash. Yep. When your parents go and get the keys, yeah, they're giving them a tip. You might not see it. The next time you go to car wash with your parents, pay attention when they get the keys. It's not the not the gas station, my favorite car wash. It's the ones that, you know, you kind of get out there for a minute. Yes? When, like, you, like, travel and then, like, you go with, like, a guy. Yes. If you travel, go with a guy. If you leave your car at the valet, you tip the guy at the valet. <coughs> or if someone, like, your luggage, helps you with your luggage, you give them a tip. The, the nail salon, you go get our nails, remember? Go get our nails, you got our nails, you get my nails. So you leave a tip. Um... That's about it. In the United States, we leave tips. What, how much do we leave? Um, it's customary to leave between 15 and 20% yeah. of your total total bill. That's so much, bro. What about three, what about dollars? Always pay attention how much people leave as a tip. You can gain so much information about them. Well, like those people who work off a tip earn a lot of money on tips. So they don't earn money, a lot of money um, by what their employer is paying them. They actually get paid really a low amount. Where they make their money is on tips. That's where the money is. Yes. So let's say we're going to go to Red Robin. Oh, you know what? No. Um, I have to tell you. I have to. Okay. So your steps. Step one, take your bill and multiply it by your percent. This will give you your tip amount. Gee, does this step sound very familiar? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's the same step, right? The vocabulary changes, but it's still the same. You're gonna multiply. What are you gonna multiply? The price times the percent. But we don't call it the price, we call it the bill. Like how much was your bill at Olive Garden? Okay, two, you take your bill and or do we add the tip or do we subtract the tip? Add. We're going to add the tip, and this will give you your total bill. Okay? Nowadays, you will go to certain locations more and more, and then they flip over the iPad, or the iPad's already facing you, and it says tip. Have you guys seen that? Yeah, I always click none. Okay. <laughs> I do that. Stop judging. Stop judging. Well, it used to just be like, Certain locations. Now everybody wants a tip. Like, okay, here. You know what? If, what if I pass around my phone and they give it to all of you and be like, okay, add your tip for you know teaching you and checking your homework, right? None. <sighs> Anyways, it used to just be like, do I leave a tip at McDonald's? No. No. But do I leave a tip at, um, let's say, Olive Garden? Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah. Right. But now more and more, like you'll go to different places and like a McDonald's, not necessarily McDonald's, um, and they want a tip. Or like in and out no, or like wing stuff. I don't know. Like a fast food place, it's like, wait a minute, 10 years ago, you never asked me for a tip. Now you're asking for a tip. 
10 years ago, yeah. When you were a kid. When I was a kid. Um, yeah. I'm old. I'm old, kids. Have you been to Red Robin? Yes. Good. If you have not, next birthday, ask to go to Red Robin. It's burgers. Order a burger. Don't order nothing but a burger. And guess what? You get free refills on french fries. You can have unlimited amount. Literally. Well, yeah, but, I mean, obviously. Exactly. Uh, Red Robin bill was forty six eighty. Okay. No, the onion rings are not unlimited, but your beverage, strawberry lemonades are pretty good, are refilled. Unlimited refills, but the key is the fries. You want to leave a 20% tip, okay? So service is good. I went to Red Robin, which is just down the street from us. Um, you get a burger with fries, order with a ranch to dip your fries in. Key. Very good. Um, yeah. And you get free unlimited French fries. Yeah, the are bad. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So step number one. We're gonna take our bill. How much was our bill at Red Robin? Forty-six eighty, and we're gonna multiply it by what? Point two. Because it's twenty percent. 20% is 0.2. Uh, 2.89. Do you want to leave a $93 tip? No. No, right? So that means there's something wrong with your decimal. But I got that. I know. So, how many total numbers are after the decimal? Total numbers. Oh. I have two decimals, right? Yeah. How many are here? Two. two. How many are here? Three. One. So total of three. So how many total numbers are after the decimals? Three. So how many times do I move it? Three times. So it's gonna be nine dollars. That's a W tip. So your tip is nine dollars and thirty six cents. So I'm gonna give the waitress waiter an extra nine dollars and thirty six cents just for them as a thank you thank you for giving me for bringing me my drinks thank you for cleaning up after i leave thank you for bringing my food taking my order refilling my drink six Uh, it depends on the store. So yeah, like if you go to Red Robin, <laughs> eat that. So every time you go to like a rest, a sit down restaurant, even if it's to go, when you hand in your credit card, you'll get the receipt and it will say tip. Uh, there will be a tip line. I don't think I have. Maybe tomorrow I'll bring in a receipt. They'll show you that. Um. Did you do tip for that? Now uh, nowadays you can actually tip for Starbucks. It used to not be, did but you? now I put him on the spot like that. No, I did not. Terrible. How much is what? This is really expensive. Like a like I think this was like six something. Six something. When I was a kid, I was able to order like a whole combo for like the amount of the, this drink. I mean, it's delicious and I love it. It was super. But it's it's. I mean, when you think about how much these things cost, it's. Okay, where else do we want to go? Eat. Oh, oh we should go to uh, Wingstop. We don't yeah. tip at Wingstop. You don't go. You don't Olive tip Garden. there. Olive Garden, you do tip. It's your mom's birthday. We're gonna go to Olive Garden. We're going there. And we're gonna order steak. From Olive Garden. I'm too fat. Okay, true story. My brother once ordered a steak at Olive Garden. I was like, seriously? Pasta, bro, pasta. I heard it back cheese. Well, the whole family went Damn. to Olive Garden, so the bill was $236. Yeah. The whole family. 
Everyone got the tour of Italy. That is not true. The bill, uh, we're going to leave an 18% tip. 18% tip. It's a good service. You know, some restaurants, if you go with a large party, like a lot of people in your in your group, they automatically charge you a tip. What? I know. I'll pay attention, guys. Pay attention to the bill. Number one, 236 times point eighteen. So they're rubbing for free? No, they just want to make sure you leave a tip. Bro, what? How big is a big party? Usually it's eight. Oh, okay. Eight people. And you'll see it at the bottom of the menu. Like a very small print at the bottom. It'll say gratuity, which means tip, is automatically added. And sometimes people don't realize it, that it's added. Gratuity? Sometimes people don't notice it, and then they'll double tip. Like the tip has been added, and then you're just like, oh, let's tip, you know, 50 bucks. And so... What would you get? Fifty bucks. Mm. Mm mm mm. Fifty bucks is a lot of bucks. Uh huh. Literally. Uh huh. Yeah. But like let's get that. Back in. So when you're my age, literally right now, pay attention. Pay attention. All right. You didn't tip because you wanted to get more sneakers. Be That's true. But I do tip when I go to restaurants. All right. Six times eight is forty-eight. Carry the four. 8 times 3 is 24, plus 4 is 28. 8 times 2 is 16, plus 2 is 18. So, as we're multiplying this by hand, not just copying me. So, when I multiply everything by 8, I get these numbers. So, now I'm done multiplying by 8. I'm going to add a 0 placeholder. That 0 comes from nowhere. Just a random 0 you have to place. Now multiply everything by one. So go ahead and do that. Yep. That's too much, bro. How many times I move it? Two. Two. Very good. So my tip is going to be Forty-two dollars and forty-eight cents. So I am going to give the waiter waitress an extra forty-two dollars and forty-eight cents as Where's like tip that they already charge you. Literally all my money. So the food costs two hundred and thirty-six dollars. It's a large party, and then um, we're going to give an additional forty-two. Now this this goes to pay for the food, the drinks, the rent, the lights, the employees, the the lights. right? This just goes to that one server. person, the server. Sometimes also what they call the bus boy, which is the one, the guy. Sometimes it's like a separate person who cleans the tables. Oh. <laughs> All right. <laughs> That's what they're called. You know what? It is a, uh, being a waitress, waiter, or working like this is a really good job to have, like, let's say in high school, um, because you could, tech, look, one table is going to give you $42. What about Are they just working with one table? No, they usually have a couple of tables, right? So imagine how much money they could possibly be making at the end of the night, every night. So it is a good job to have, like, you know, when you're going to college. It's, it's a really good job. It's hard, though, because you're running around, you're carrying stuff. What about, like, Lego? Lego work. Well, you can work at Legos to get your discount, employee discount. Something like that. All right. So your total bill at Olive Garden to celebrate your mom's birthday is two hundred seventy-eight dollars and forty-eight cents. It's a lot of money. Hence, a lot of people don't go out to eat a lot because it, it gets expensive, right? We can't be doing this every night. We can't be doing this every day. It's it expensive. It's expensive. That's also expensive. Like, if you go to McDonald's and you pay attention to how much you're spending, you're like, it's it's not cheap anymore, you know? Oh yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> 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 
Denny's. Denny's. Also leave tip. All right. I like IHOP pants. They're too big. It just wants the tip. So if it just wants the tip, that's answer number one. And then if it asks for the total, that's answer number two. Hence, I underlined it. Well, technically, the work you did here is for this. That extra work, that extra step is for this one. I broke it up. Now you can just draw an arrow. <laughs> 